Hey Joe fans, I'm JoeFan82 here with another action figure review. Today I'm looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Special Missions Cobra Island Roadblock figure. That's right, I actually found one in a Target store. Here he is in the package. He's in a nice window box packaging as with the other figures and some decent artwork there on the front. On the side of the box are four icons that are related to that character and these are explained in greater detail on gijoe.com so I encourage you to go to that website and see what they are and what they mean. I really like the back of the box it has some really good artwork for Cobra Island. We've got some giant uh, Cobra statues there that's zoomed in on and another uh, artillery place uh, at the top of the volcano. Uh, just some really nice artwork there, and I believe these are kind of different for each of the figures in this wave. And the other side of the box has some nice artwork for this special missions roadblock. That was roadblock in the package, let's open them up. It looks like the insert for these Cobra Island figures features some special artwork there on the back featuring Cobra Island and those big Cobra statues I was talking about before, and the nice icon there looks really cool. All right, here he is out of the package, and I think he's looking pretty good myself. Well, most of this figure is a repaint of the previous roadblock we saw in Wave 1. It, this figure does feature a brand new head sculpt. He's got a much longer beard, a black head wrap that uh, has some really nice detail. Even though it is in black, there is some nice detail there. And uh, his little earpiece on the side is, uh, is well sculpted. It looks pretty good. He's wearing a sleeveless black shirt with a white graphic design and it features at the top the white stripes with the white star outline and uh, keeping some of that G.I. Joe continuity there. And uh, overall the, the build is the same and he still has that lion tattoo on his left shoulder. And uh, you can really notice the chest cut in this figure as opposed to the other one, the previous roadblock. And I really like this gauntlet he has on his right arm. It's black, black, a little bit softer plastic, but a nice sculpt there. Uh, very nice detail. Moving down, he's got some light grayish pants uh, and a black, um, so, uh, some canisters here look like maybe flashbangs or something along those lines and those are glued on those are not removable but they look nice and uh, no more gold guys these are uh, uh, black boots and a black knee pad and they look better to me than the gold articulation time his head has some movement here the back of his head wrap the little thing sticking down impede him looking all the way up but he still has some movement he can move right and left so uh, still a decent range his shoulders come up about so far he's got that swivel at the top of the bicep double jointed elbows 360 wrist and then another uh, up and down joint there at the wrist. He has that chest cut. Mine is a little loose on the top. He can go all the way forward, all the way back. And um, mine is just a little loose there. But on the waist, it looks like that's on a ball joint. Some nice articulation there. His legs come up about so far. And they come forward pretty much straight and uh, double jointed knees joints are pretty stiff it doesn't feel like they're gonna break but they're very solid so he gets a 90 degree bend at the knee joint here at the top of the boot well hidden with the uh, boot swivel ankle and up and down His accessories, he comes with this really cool pair of sunglasses, which are semi-foggy. They're a dark silver, dark grayish silver. And he can hold them in his hand like this. And uh, you might notice on the head sculpt, he's got two um, holes or slots there on his temples where 
the glasses can slide in and they actually stay in pretty well uh, you can hold them over and they're not gonna fall off and uh, they, I think they look pretty good his other accessory is the same rail gun that we saw in the other roadblock wave one roadblock but this one is a dark gray and it features uh, some blue highlights does not have the translucent piece at the front like the other one did but uh, same mold and uh, this one says broiler on the side in white and here he is with the other roadblock a little comparison here I personally prefer the Cobra Island version I just like that deco better this one also has a removable clip just like the other one you can really see how much a paint app can make a difference for a figure um, I'm talking about the gold and the black I personally think the black looks better than the gold but um, I mean just that small change and he looks totally different overall this is a pretty big departure for roadblock we've never seen a roadblock look like this before and uh, some people might grumble with that I think it's great it's, I'm all for seeing new versions of characters and this guy actually looks so different that if you wanted to you could consider him a completely different character I know some people are just calling him heavy duty he is their heavy duty because uh, we don't know when they're actually going to produce an official heavy duty but uh, I think it looks really nice uh, I, I'm digging the the new deco the head sculpt looks really nice I recommend giving this figure a chance I was not looking forward to this one as much as the other figures in the Cobra Island wave but uh, I think he's pretty good uh, you might be surprised so if you can find him I recommend getting him do not pay scalper prices be patient and uh, I think you will find him especially check out your targets after or on or after August 14th when they should be available that's my review for the Cobra Island roadblock figure let me know what you think of this guy in the comments below make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks for watching and I'll see you next time